Okay. I'm just trying to find. Look at that. Okay. I've got it in the May group. I'm just going to try and find. One said hello, everyone. Hello, Pam. How are you? So. In three places. On the Creative Family group. The May class subscription group and on YouTube because it's Scrapbox Week. Hello, Deborah. Hello, Di. Dies over on YouTube. Hello, D. Righty O. Righty O. Right there. So, oh, this was left from yesterday. This. So these are my leftovers from yesterday's scrapbox class. And this is what we made. Made this easel card. So it's even decorated on the back. We made a triangle easel card. Amelia Ann challenged me. Hello, Tash and Cheryl. Hello, Raquel and Joanne. Swatch chisel card. It's a card. Oh, thank you, Cheryl. It turned out pretty cool, eh? Um, I think it was Raquel that said last week we should do a fancy shape card this week. And I was talking about it on the weekend and Amelia said, oh, do a triangle. So there we go. Okay. So we're going to use my creative ruler. So this was Sunday's product of the day was my new ruler and today's if you missed it oh yesterday was chippy strips so they're one millimeter um white chipboard strips and you get um it's just over 3.2 meters they're six inch lengths just over 3.2 meters in the pack you get four half inch meters. Yeah. Meters. Meters. Yeah, yeah. I worked it all out. I love math. You know you're saying meters, like a meters. hundred centimeters to get to a meter. Yes, three point two meters. So there's four Yeah. There's four um half inch. There's nine quarter inch and there are um Eight, eight of an inch. Right. It is. A uh, quick question. What um, groups are we in? Um, create a family group. Hello, Beck. Hello, Lorraine. Um, create a family group, YouTube, and... May. Do we have Jack Paper? Yes, we have Jack Paper. Naomi John will put a link up for you, Cheryl. Now, Cheryl's in the creative family group asking that question. Yeah, <coughs> Thank you, Dee. Okay, so that was yesterday's card. Naomi's thinking about making a um, kit. It's going to be interesting. So today's product of the day. You try and photograph this. It was going to be... $39.95 but the ladies told me to kind of wake up to myself today so it is $49.95 um oh, that's got a little wrench there that's okay um it is called a creative design board so the whole point is that you put your design together on your board I can see the lines even if you can't so you put your design together and you lay it all out and you know it's going to fit on your page. So we're going to use that tonight. We're going to do a single. But the point is to make sure that what you decide to do fits. You can't cut on it. If you cut it, you've cut it. 
They'll say, no, if you cut on it, you cut it. So don't cut on it. Um, we recommend not using um, solvent or acetone or alcohol to clean it. You could damage the beautiful, clear shininess. But if you do, it's your choice. Um, you can't, Naomi, where's your ruler? You can put, these are not engraved, these lines, these are, are cut lines, unlike the other. Yeah, you didn't want to pay what it was going to take to um, to engrave it. it was gonna, yeah. So this is Naomi John's ruler, and she has put paint into hers. So you can personalise your ruler and your um, design board with that. It is thicker than the ruler. So it's a little bit thicker than the ruler. Um, it doesn't bow. Got a tiny bit of give. I used to have something similar that was glass and didn't go much past the 12 inches. And, yeah, you can drop it once or twice, but then it just exploded. And I didn't even drop it when it exploded. It just, I just, I think I just sat it on the desk like that on my mat and it actually exploded. So, um, yeah. So we will use this to come up with our page, I think. I want to show you how it works. Um, Anna and I gave it a test drive today. We, we've got a prototype one that's a bit dodgy. Um, and it seemed to work okay. I've got a little nick on here. I've just got to sand. But we'll fix that up. You will see when you look at it, at the start and end points, you can actually see into the acrylic. You can see, I don't know if you can see that, you can see the points where the laser starts in and at the end of the, the points, it's got these funny little bits into the acrylic. It looks quite cool. I like it. It's very interesting. So you can see it. Uh, you guys can just see that, I think. You can see it on the white. Yeah, no on the craft though. Yeah. But what we might do is we might remove the messy mat. Because I'm going to try and use the messy mat to get my nail. But that light shines. There we go. Let's try without lights. Is that too dark? Is that too dark without lights? Oh, that's a bit dark. Let's just keep the lights. Okay. So let's have a bit more of a delve into this box and see if there's a full sheet of something in here. What I can use as a background for a page, or do I have to make a background with a whole heap of bits and pieces? This is another piece. Um, you can try. Oh, see, I'm meant to make a card out of that. I'm gonna make a card out of those bits. I'm make that over there. Maybe. Let's see if we've got enough of something to make. A little bit of white. A bit more of that blue that I tried to use yesterday and then I kind of gave up. It's devoted to denim. A bit more white. Fun. Maybe a bit of that blue and white would be nice, but I don't want to cut a sheet up. Mm. Let's see how it goes. Oh, it's a poppy. Maybe. So when you're doing stuff with your scrap box, 
a really good place to start and a really good use of a scrap box is to make a patchwork page. But I've done a few patchwork pages before for scrap box classes. I've done quite a few patchwork pages actually. Do we have any more of that champagne glitter? A piece of white could be damaged. You never know. It's damaged. It could stay. I should back up the bus a bit. Piece of rice paper. Okay. Lots and lots of choices. Oh, there's a bit more of that floral we used yesterday. I bought a bit of that. Just a bit. Just a wee bit, a bit more white. Oh, we're at the bottom. Okay. It's not all going back in. Just put that back in there. Fix the bring up. Um da -da -da -da. Okay. Let me just get rid of this. Let me read the comments in my group first. Um hello Michelle. Thank you, Beck. I love the board. Um, it was on my wish list. Evening all, I finally have five minutes. Oh, lost. Yep. Oh. Dad is amazing, isn't it? Oh, well. There you go. Love you too, Bronnie. It has been a bit tough. We've been to... I don't know what it is with the funerals. But you take care. There's been quite a few. Quentin's got one on Monday. One of his former employers and friend. And he's also the dad of one of my school friends. It's a bit, yeah, a bit raw, that one. We didn't know. No one told any of the staff. Hello, Karen. Yeah, it was a bit, a bit scary, that one. Um, thank you. Hello, Marie. Thank you, Dee and Deborah and Joanne, Marie and Pam. Hello, Mary. Oh, 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 oh. Naomi John put up Jack Paper. Hello, Trish. Oh, geez, it keeps on jumping around on me. Uh, that's the board. Hello, Debbie. Okay. So we've got a little tiny bit of glitter. Would like to use that. Didn't want that. Oh, that's not bad. Didn't want that. I don't think I'm going to use orange. So we might not use the pink glitter. We need to build a base. That would be the place to start. So we've got this whopping big piece of white. We could build a base out of those two. Couldn't we? But it needs something between. I think I'll do something like that. 
I do like that. And then like, oh, let's use the rainbow photo. And, oh no, I got this poor, poor Noah. Oh, that looks weird. It's a little bit of weirdness going on there. And we could use a little bit of like that. What are we thinking? Not bad? Or not good? Read it. Okay. Let's make a start with that. It's got a bit of weirdness about it, but I think we might be able to make it work. Hi, I'm sorry that I missed the first video. I'm doing it. Oh You're about fake photos. Right. Okay, so we can use our board for this. We've got a piece of white that is. That is like six, seven, so six, seven, seven and seven eighths. It's a weird measurement. Mm -hmm. By 12 inches? Yeah, by 12. So it'll go on there. And then this bit is, this is divided to denim paper number one. Is that still available? Or is that sold out? Uh, one minute. If that's sold out, I don't think I'm allowed to use it. No, I'm gonna make a kit. This is still available, isn't it? I believe so. Just give me a minute. Yeah, well, let's have a look at what in Divided to Denim is still available. Paper wise. Because uh... if it's paper one, Quentin is going to lynch me if I use something that we don't have. And we might use a bit of this. Now, paper one, we have negative two. Right. Paper two, 36. Paper three, 91. Paper four, which is the square one that you're showing was 32. Right, I'm allowed to use it. Not allowed to use that. I've got a scare of that. So will we be able to, will that look... Oh, I think I like that better. I like that. We're gonna we're gonna take the nafness and run with it. Rightio. What size so we've got a piece of this that is so if that was seven and seven eighths. Eight uh, four and one eighth. Put that in the so we need to cut a bit. Let's cut a bit that's like five and a half inches wide. Seven and seven eighths is just beyond weird. Oh yeah. I've damaged the edge of the top, so I'm just going to trim a sliver off the top. Because I like that nice halo, because that takes me time. Like how I get the halo around the page. I do like that. So let's line this one up at the top. See, like that. And then when we line this at the bottom, our overlap's going to be that wide. So can we fit my wide tape in there? Yes, we can. So let's put... The aunt said don't turn the key when the music is 
So I'm going to do this sideways so it's easy for me to see and I don't have to put my head in the way. So I'm going to line this up on here. I'm just going to turn back a little bit of the tape if I can get it to turn back. Increase. And let's do the same at the other end. So we're just going to turn back a tiny bit of tape. So, okay, if you don't have as big an overlap, just use a narrower tape. We are going to band-aid it at the back. So just happy accident that I wasn't intending on you seeing how to build a page on your design board, but... Um, would you suggest if you've got the scrap, um, have a bigger overlap, so then you've got that... Bigger extra overlap. The extra Band-Aid, or...? Yeah, I just like the overlap to be nice. So then you've got a bit more, yep. like, stability? So I've got it here, and I can line it up this way, but I'm going to put a extra... Let's move this up here so you can see. I'm going to put an extra... Um, straightness in and my head is in the way I'm sorry I'm just lining it up because I am a bit obsessive about these things lining up there the finger there and lining it up there lining it up there it doesn't matter if I go too long because I can always trim it off lining that up Let's come down just a touch Oops. Long, stick it there. Let's peel this out carefully. Oh, I wasn't careful, was it? <laughs> there was nothing careful about that. I creased it a little bit much. There we go. And is it 12 inches long? It is 12 inches long. Look at that. And then if we put this piece, which is Easter Blessings number three, in here, well, we want to make it with just a slightly bigger board, but if we put that in there like that. Let's make this 11 inch piece let's bring it down to like 10 inches so we'll get a little bit more so then we'll just get a little bit more border like that around the outside so it's only 10 by 8. 10 by 8. I want to just take a tiny bit off this end and then I'm going to take my spot Oops, a bit close to that. So I've got this apricot strip. Let's sit that there. And put that nice and even. Okay, so let's, we're going to sit that like even top, bottom and sides, about an inch in. So let's, I've got more of these pencils coming too. Tracy was finally made, able to make it. My rep, so. It was really cool. So we're marking it. So we've just stuck this together and now we're going to hack a hole in it. So I've just made my little corner marks. I'm going to poke a hole. Yes, don't forget, don't cut on your design board. You can, but you will cut into it. I'm going to try and keep mine nice and shiny. Uh, apparently, Naomi John's getting the prototype that's got um, a bit of a dodgy border um, between the numbers, a bit of a dodgy lineup. And let's see how badly Naomi John trashes her design board. Excuse me, the ruler lasts in one part and the belly has any paint on it. The ruler has paint on it, but that was intentional, hey? Intentional. We'll see if we can customise it. Which you can. We're going to use this piece here for one of our photo mats. 
And then uh, we might actually attempt to get two photo mats out of that, let's be honest. So let's put some tape on here. And then we're going to stick this on. And then we're going to pop it behind our mat, behind our design board. And then we're going to pick out all our bits and bobs and design our page. And then decide if we're going to ink it. And it's going to be so simple to just go from planning to inking. It's going to be nice. So we're going to turn back a tiny bit on each of our corners. On each piece of tape, we'll turn back one corner like that. I'm going to turn this upside down. I'm going to get my ruler. So this line here is an inch from the edge. So this line. So I'm going to line up. And I'm going to line up the edges of my page. Oh, you have no idea how much I have missed my nice ruler. So what do I want? I want the small bit on the right hand side. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to line this up on my ruler, I'm inching from each edge. Walk my hand around. See? It's making my life easy. Oh, I've got a whining eight-year-old. <clears throat> I have definitely got a whining eight-year-old. I've got to turn that light off. That light's just driving me nuts. Right, yeah. And let's put that there. Okay. There we go. We're back again. Just notice that charge. Okay. Just order my creative board. There you go. May have missed what is. Oh, so this is it. Um, Bronnie, this is my product of the day. Um, now the lights off. You can't. Creative design board. It is so that we can design our page with um yes it, it it's our product of the day Bronnie it, it is so that we can design the page with all the bits and then stick it all together afterwards and you also see that Margaret and Liz have joined you over on Hello, Liz. Hello, Margaret. How are you? Yeah. Yeah. So we've been able to make our background and we've salvaged some bits. So let's see what sort of... We've really stuck that together, haven't we? Yeah, no. Sort of peel that off there. We'll be able to use part of that. Can we get a photo mat over that? I think we probably can. Let's have a look at what we can get out of this. 
bit we cut out of the middle. So we could do a four by six piece. And then that's a four by, let's do a two by three for journaling. So we've got a two inch by three inch piece and a four by six piece. So four by six piece, is that for um, a photo mat? A photo mat, yep. That's... And a three by two is for journaling. Yeah. And let's get another two six. Yeah, let's cut another four by six for a second photo mat. Or yeah, we're gonna cut a four by six for now. So hence why I've been using the same white for my classes. <coughs> Sorry. This is a little bit torn off here. <coughs> I'm gonna just turn the light back on and put this light back where it belongs. I didn't even think about the lighting. All I thought about was me creating. So it's a bit torn out, but we'll be right. We'll survive. What have we got here? So from this bit of glitter, how wide is that? It's two and a quarter. So I've got a two and a quarter. It is definitely two and a quarter, so let me just make sure. Oh, it's just like a hair's breadth under two and a quarter inches. Let's just do a hair's breadth under three and a quarter inches. So like two and a quarter by three and a quarter out of something to mat that because we're going to try and bring a little bit of this little tiny bit of this glitter in because I just love this color two, two and a quarter by three and a quarter yep we'll cut the middle out of that we've got that bit that bit and this strip we salvaged out of the scrap box I always keep strips of glitter like this because oh I know exactly where we're going to use that just had a brainwave. Let's get that. And let's put like a little bit of it there and a little bit of it there, like that. Look at that. Love, love, love that. See, and then we're going to put our two photos and then put our journaling blocks over here. What do we do? Nope. Is that all you just put over here? What's that? Are you using bronze butter? No, it's champagne. Champagne. Okay, so we've got this fishing fun number one. And yeah, no, I'm cutting a full piece. So let's cut a, a two-inch strip. Let's cross cut that at say three inches. Yep. This is a start. And then we're just gonna make a flaggy thing out of that. Just like that. Just fold it in half and snip. And just go snip with confidence like if you sort of like fragile snip, it'll be crooked and you'll be upset with it. But if just sort of just snip with confidence, I know that sounds double dutch. I'm going to put that there. So that was a two by three piece of stripe. And then 
Let me throw that out. I did lock that. But let's look at how we're going to embellish it. Oh, I think we could put a pocket. It looks like eyes there. Let me do that. And then the pink brow. I did. Oh, I did something else today. So, Chrissy D was in class today. Chrissy, are you in class tonight? Chrissy Dennis was in today. And Di and Heather and Ronnie and who else was there? Di, Heather, Ronnie, Chrissy D. Um, Julie Spreadborough, who was helping us with our shop reorganize. Um, Anna, I said Heather, Di, oh, Quentin was there. Um, Tammy John was there. Um, was someone else there? Mammy? I think so. Which names have you said? Chrissy D, Di, Nanny Di, Anna, Leonie. Heather, Leonie. It was Leonie's birthday. Oh, my God. It was Leonie's birthday. Happy birthday to Leonie. Um, Julie S, she was helping with shop fitting. We have Julie B as well. Julie B was in. She gave me a beautiful bag for my birthday because she had COVID when it was my birthday. And... Oh, I said someone first time around and forgot them second time around. Ronnie. Ronnie. Oh. What's that? She already said. And who? Oh, don't worry. You already said, Anna. Uh, so, yes. Did you that's... say the lady in the black shirt and the... Oh, and Shelly. Shelly was working on her. I've got a piece of acrylic and I've got a little acrylic frame. Did you get the reorganized completed? <laughs> no. We're still going. Uh, we've got retreat kits out. Oh, I've got some pink string pull apart stuff. This is an interesting. So, so oh, 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 look at that. So, this is all from, see, now, if I was just designing this, I had the page off somewhere else and I was just working out what I wanted to use, I would quite possibly design that to go outside the boundaries. See? I've got to stay inside the boundaries. Memories is nice. I'm a kid. Mammy, here, do you want the card? Me? Yeah, Mammy? I actually would like the card. Mammy John is going to try and make a kit for I, last night, yesterday and, and tonight. I am, don't. Quote me on it though. She's trying. It's gonna be a bit of. Where did you get the lock part from? What was that? Um, it would need a custom color cut, Nanny John. Oh, we could put a rabbit on here. To be fair, I think this one's gonna need a custom color cut, and Amelia is saying good night now. No. Yep. No. What time is it? Seven time seven. for bed. It's actually seven forty. Anyone want a wind and kit? Mammy, mm. when you know me, read one to five. Oh. But I did a green. And I had to read the book. So I say no. I don't know if you can make a kit for this, Mammy John. Just. How are you going to make a kit when they've got bits and pieces from all sorts of sheets of paper? Don't worry, I'm figuring that out as I go. Uh, this is very confusing. That pink's under the thing is the blue's under. Are those pockets yep. the paper or the colour cut? The paper. Is that paper still available? Just going to check on the paper pocket. I have got a colour cut pocket. Just use the colour cut pocket. <laughs> is the paper available? Got about 19 sheets of it, I think. Okay, this paper's in low supply. Yep, but I haven't cooked in two hours. No, it's bedtime. Good night, hello, goodbye. 
I love you. Mommy wouldn't let me. And make sure there's no cat in your room tonight. See you in the morning. I love you. Everyone's saying good night. Cheryl's saying good night. Um, D said good night. Hello, Sandra. Have you seen your teeth, Millie? Yes, she's ready for you to read her a chapter of that book. That way. Reorganises. Hello, Jeanette. How are you? Come on, time for bed. Okay. Well, witness my wingy kid. It's for all this book or nothing. Okay. Trying to get her to read something that's at her level. Oh, so are we going with the paper denim pocket or the card? Yeah. I dislike using the paper denim pocket. I don't think you can make a kit. Well, even if we did, we would probably only have six available books with a blue card. Yep. So no to a kit before tonight. But let me see about this one. Oh, this one's not too bad. I think it's just as bad. Why is Waffle and Pink Box in there? Are you sure it's got a one piece of beautiful family paper? One piece of cardstock? Two pieces of Easter blessing. I oh, know, three pieces of Easter blessing. Being a menace. And a okay, so I'm just trialing this little frame here. I do like that. I love that on a card. Amelia doesn't even read that book. That's flower power. I have told her. That is that cherished time. time. This is Easter Blessings Colour Cuts. Yeah, Maybe we could put the bow in there instead of the acrylic part. How's your day been, Mum? My day's been okay. I don't know why I have children, but how was your day, Noah? Oh, it's been fantabulous. You're telling lies, Noah. Yep, you better lock your chooks up. I know I had the yellow memories because I've got no yellow anywhere else on the whole thing. Oh, we've got the gold, haven't we? Too big. Maybe it floats away. See that. to show the other things I designed. So that's where I started talking about who was in the store. So Chrissy wanted because we have like the purple and we have the pink and the blue which I don't have of the fussy colour elements for Vista Blessings. So Chrissy said she would like a darker pink and an apricot. So I did a darker pink and an apricot. So the original pink is, hmm, that's not the original pink, but that's pretty close. So we've got a darker pink and an apricot. And then I did like an aquary colour. The blue has more of a purple centre. So I did the aquary ones for me. Sorry about the glare in the centre.
So we need to bring the yellow in, don't we? See, now we've got an issue here. I think we need to come across a bit. See, we're seeing where we need to adjust things and maybe we do this across this side like this. Deborah said the flowers are lovely, Dee said pretty colours, and Mary said those colours are gorgeous. They are lovely colours, aren't they? Something like that. See, I see I can now watch my boundary. I've got a little bit of yellow there now. It's a different yellow. It's just squint your eyes so it looks like the same yellow. Um, Debbie says, love, love those flowers in those colours. Can never have too many flowers, can you? What type of photo are you thinking you're going to put on? It's be nice with a baby page of your sister, wouldn't it? If I had photos. I'm sure we'll find a photo. Yeah. If not, you can use um the baby that's just been born. Yeah. Our great niece. Okay, let's get some gauze. Because Naomi's seen it out now, so let's just hack a bit off the gauze, you know, we're just hacking a bit off. Right. I just want to trash it a bit. Yeah, be careful with that, that computer. That computer's on its, your dad's, I don't know what he's done to it this week. It's not letting me scroll. Yep. I have no idea what he's done to it this week. I'm sorry if I can't read your comment. It's just... <laughs> <laughs> so if we put that bit of gauze under there. And then, oh, that's a bit big, that bit. Let's cut that in half. Let's scroll on this. Yeah, let's scroll on this. You can scroll on one screen, but on the other. No, I, I, I'm at the bottom now. But You're at the bottom now? Yes, this computer is on its last legs. It needs to be pensioned out. I ain't in the budget, so it ain't going to happen. Um, How old is it? Um, 2013. But I'm, I'm actually thinking that it might be early 2012. It was either before the one at work or after. Because you have that um, really old computer in um, where the office was, that Microsoft one. At work? Yeah. Yeah. It's in uh, one of the storerooms somewhere. And then you get this one. Once we moved house or something? No, we got it before we moved house in 2014. I think that one's 2013. I think the register is older at work. The register works faster. <laughs> we don't scrub on the register. Okay. So what I'm thinking is that we leave these over here just in case just in case just in case but I actually think what this shows is we could put a little bit of flicking like here here and maybe a tiny bit up here and maybe if we do like a bit of this like yellow And then the metallic, because it's a metallic, it'll sort of sit on the surface of the paper up there. So we do a little bit there and a little bit here and a little bit here. Flicking. 
let's do that. So, this is the exciting thing. We get to pick that up, put it on a flat surface where there are none. So it doesn't fall off. Let's move this tub over here. Michelle said good night, darling girl. I think that was that message. To Neely. Yeah. The messages must be coming in slow. So the there we go. I'll just sit that there. And we've got a page. Let's put these little strips on here with a similar sort of border to what we're going to have with our um I know I'm gonna need this. I've got absolute dregs in here. I'm trying to um trying to get the most out of my um glues. So we want a little tiny border, sort of similarish to the amount of gold you're going to see on our journal block. So that one goes there. says that is such a good idea now you see why I wanted one I didn't want to go down well you can't get the one I used to have in glass well it, it was just a printed glass mat and it was a lot heavier too is that about the same it's about the same Right, write it. So you haven't had a shower. So it wasn't you that flooded the bathroom earlier. No, it was me. Really? I thought it was you that flooded the bathroom. Sorry to disappoint you. Well, what disappointment I'm annoyed. Have you uh, you need to write it out better. He's trying to ask me a question. That Oh Yes. I didn't, didn't I didn't know didn't he goes, have we the craft mat you wrote, you know, the mat you wrote. That's what I was working on, you doofus. Because you just didn't know if it was still a surprise or not. Wow. If you guys knew about the creative design board. I didn't know if the product had been released yet, so. Yes, it has. Okay, so I've got my fan brush and I've got water. And we're mm. going to use this one, won't we? Let's just thank you. Tag. Yep. Well, I'm actually nearly officially disliked. So then let's just put a spritz of water in this so we can get some big blobs. Now that blob's a bit too big. Could you wash my paintbrush out, please? Pretty please. Yeah. Probably a bit much flicking. You might need to hold it up because it's very faint, so we can. It is very faint because it's lemon. On the camera. It's lemon. Lemon. You see that? Sorry, it strobes when you hold it up to the light. Okay. 
So I'm going to put these somewhere so they can stay open where Missy can't get to them to eat them. Yes, Missy would eat. She would eat them. I'm just going to put this over behind me. And then I'm going to bring this back. Look at that. Here's one I prepared earlier. That's what it feels like. Um, it would make things so much easier to put everything back in position. Just finished my layout. I started yesterday, but got everything back where I had planned was a challenge, I'm afraid. But everything went back exactly as my, yeah, and that's, this is why. I don't know if you saw the video the other week, Marie, where I think I was using Easter Blessings and I was I designed like the clustery thing while the page was drying from being wet. And, and I had it looking really beautiful and I loved it. But when I got it to the page, most of it hung off the page with the position of the photo where I had the photo and I'm like, oh, so I had to change it. Whereas this way I can design and adjust and it still fits on my page because I know where my page goes. So I'm going to do two photos that are five and three quarter by three and three quarter. These are fakey photos. We're going to deal with the photos now and then we're going to do with the other bits. Let's take our photo mats out. Let's cut the metal out of those. Waste not, want not. I N T R I C A T E. Sorry, I'm just going to stick my fake photos. I'm going to write on them in a second to the mats. And then I'm going to raise them up and I'm going to use my new chippy strips. Chippy strips. So these were three and three quarter inches. But pencils get really hard to use. Inches and they were fakey photos. Mine are. You're going to put real photos on yours. I really want to put photos on all my pages, but I don't kind of get there. contemplated selling a heap of my pages but because I make the pages with the intention of putting my family on them I sort of like yeah I'm gonna cheat and put some 12 mil tape on a half inch chippy strip for my journaling book. I 
I could have gone with these on, but didn't feel like battling with my glue. Just to think it was worth the empty. Nope. Nope. So these are the chippy strips. So they're white chipboard, they're six inches long. You get not, uh, eight, uh, eight of an inch ones. They're best glued. I'm going to use them in a little bit. You get nine quarter inch and you get four half inch. Um, so it's 21 pieces in the packet and they're one mil so they're not as high as regular foam tape but i'm gonna say i'm not really worried by that uh yesterday i used them on my card and some of them i doubled up some of them i had single i had lots of different levels so remember, this is um, glitter card. So glitter card, you need to be very careful and make sure that you straddle the join with your whatever your adhesive on the back has to straddle across the join between the glitter card and the bit in the middle. You really need to cut the center out of um, your glitter card mats because it doesn't like being stuck to. We use some on a frame, made a little frame Shelly did today on her frame for her grandmother's 100th birthday coming up and we made sure that we used like 450 glue um, to hold the pieces together. So these went sort of here. So this is from what's the acrylic frame from? Uh, the uh, acrylic shape set. Yeah, which one? Uh, one minute, I've got to get to the press Dan May. This one may be out. Oh, we do have to make one of them. That we've released a lot of product this month. Yeah, we've released a serious amount of product in May. So we were, we committed to a product a day in May on like day three. And last Friday we were at no. Thursday took us to 119, didn't it? Something like that. We did release four we've done a lot. two on one day. There's well over like 120, 125 products. So yeah. and we I've, haven't finished the cogs yet. Yep, yeah, no, the cogs aren't finished yet. So you can see I've cut a piece of okay. this paper from um, Easter Blessings from the back. This, isn't, this one's out of stock, is it? Yeah, it's out of stock. It's the Cherished Time one, the one, the one with the Mother's Day stuff we did. We'll just keep an eye out. We'll try and make some of them tomorrow. Although we're making rulers tomorrow. Um, a sheet of rulers takes eight and three quarter hours. Okay. Why not? As I said. I'm going to try and adjust one of the settings. It doesn't take as long. I think I'm nearly out of glue. No. Nah. I think we're going to leave that one sit upside down for a while. He can contemplate the error of his ways. Let's see. No. Nah.
Okay. Mm. Now we had to go and knock so that we'd at least get some hot water tonight. Well, I would get at least some hot water. I've got a little bit of glue on there and then I'm just going to sit my bit of pattern paper on and I've probably got glue in the wrong spot on it. Yep. I'm just going to move the glue away. Um, glossy accents like Dimensional Magic dries glossy. Oh, don't want to stick to that. Okay. So then we've got this little heart. So let's get to some of the chippy strip. Let's cut like six little pieces of quarter inch, three, four, five, six, they're like, oh, I'm not putting the scissors back in the drawer. Oh, I know what I wanted to do. Oh, well. I wanted to use the stitching guide on the ruler. See, I want to do everything on one page. So I'm sticking a little piece on here, a little piece on here. Now I'm going to put another dot of glue on each. Dot of glue, dot of glue. Um, I actually think the test for the creative design board is going to be belonging to me. Mine is not going to stay pristine, I can tell you that. I thought you said you were going to try. I will try and keep it pristine, but mine will not be pristine, I can guarantee you. Um, it will be an absolute litmus test, being my possession, because I teach three classes a week and do other projects as well. Okay, so there we go. I've got that three. Oh, focus, focus, there we go. I'm going to put that in there. Let's put a little tiny dot there and there. Uh, so the pocket Trisha's hasn't looked in for three days. Oh dear. And my group, and Marie's green and it's very cold and Michelle says eight hours is a very long time. Yeah, well... We want what we want. Okay, let's put some tape on the back of the pocket. So we're going around and we're, we're actually pulling the design apart. But we're going around and we're adding the tape. And we're adding all the bits where they need to go. So things are ready to stick together. Things are ready to build. See, I know I want that there. So what I can do is I can line up this flaggy thing nice and straight there on the bridge and I can just remove a little bit of this tape and then I can I'll line up the pocket where I think it looks sort of straightish sit that there and I'm just going to remove a bit of tape off this one here and then I'm going to use the grid to sort of get that right and then bring it across so it's going to have to go sort of here on the page like that. It's going to go there and there. So we know that our our pink is an inch in from here and it comes down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It comes down to here. And it starts an inch in, so it's just in there. So we could actually put that like that, couldn't we? So 
So we need to put some a little bit of something, raise it up. And we probably need like two layers maybe on there. Let's have a look. So what we can do is take the frame and go, okay, is the frame one layer or is it two layers or is it three layers? So let's just get three bits of eighth of an inch. Yep. Three bits will be just about right. So let's just cut a bit about that long. A bit about that long. Just cut two bits. I've got, I've got three of that one and I've got two of that one because I lost them. Okay, I had a piece ping off into the distance. So maybe um, cutting with wild bandon isn't the thing to do. <laughs> Tomorrow would be good, then I could get some before I come home. Oh, what's that? Well, I'll try and get, on yeah. Machine, realistically. Yep. Yep. Yeah. The rulers take a while. I'm actually going to, so we know that at this end here, we need to put some bits. I'm actually going to spend some time tomorrow morning making, like changing the setting. I'm actually going to um, do a bit of calibration work uh, so I can cut it, a, I can engrave it as fast as setting. You do have to clean where the laser comes out to first before I do that. But I think it's an early day tomorrow because Noah does rock band tomorrow. Oh, that one's a bit long. So let's cut that one in half. I'm going to grab a takeout container, I think, and keep these in because I want to keep all the little bits. We do have tweezers in stock again. I moved them today. Quentin will be going cook at me tomorrow because I moved moved the tweezers to a new home. He'll go to pick an order and go, there's no tweezers. I'm like, get out there. Where they are now makes more sense than where they were. Okay, so let's set that aside to dry. Let's check our page. Oh, it's looking pretty good. You see that? It's looking pretty, pretty nice. Pretty nice. Why are we? No, while we're just off topic. Really? Okay. So you've got a piece of cardstock here, a full custom colour set, one piece of East of Blessings paper one, one piece of East of Blessings paper three, a six of a sheet of blush glitter card. This is glitter card, by the way, you went yesterday. I think I should just clarify that. Um, a piece of beautiful family paper two, and the inside bit of the school days op uh, open number one. Correct? Yeah, I don't know. Sounds about right. Yes, so that all comes to thirteen dollars and ninety five cents. Hmm. Okay. If you want to make a kit. If I want to make a kit. Up to you. Um, I suppose if we want to make a kit, does anyone want a kit for yesterday? Oh, 
course. You get the most Uh, Raquel says yes. Here we go. So it's 39.5 will be all of this. Is that okay? Yep. And your iPad. Your iPad's going to be disengaged for a minute and a half. Really? Yep. Okay, comments on it later. Um, personally, no way on. Roller rolling. I just want to take something. What do you This way, though. What do you think? I think it looks good. Oh, I might need more glitter card. I'm going to get my glitter card and I'm just going to cut a little like eighth of an inch strip. So see, I'll cut this little strip and then I'm going to cut it into little squares. And then what we'll do is we'll use those instead of sequins. So you can even lay out on this where you think you would like to put your sequence. Do you know what I mean? That one's there now. Oh, that one's a bit big. So, I'm going to make them like little confettis. Like that. So, I'm going to cut a few more and leave them on here. Ready? A few extras because I know I'll probably lose some. Let's just cut it all off. It's going to go in the bin otherwise. Right. Still a little wet. So let's just trim this off while we're waiting. And how about we, let's turn this upside down and stick our photos on. while it's drying. So let's dry this end. So on here this dotted line is your half inch line. It is half an inch long and your quarter inch line is a quarter of an inch long. Your one inch line is not anything in particular. So I can line my half inch line up with that edge 
and then what I need to do is I need to move across so that it's sort of at a, at a point where it's even on here. Just going to do the top two on each. I'm going to go in half an inch and I'm going to go in half an inch. Oops. Probably not an idea to do this over something bulky. like that frame that's underneath where I'm working. Probably better to do this on a flat surface. In half an inch, in half an inch. I think that's straight. Push it down. It's not as raised as I normally would. I kind of like that. I kind of like that I'm a bit more in control, that I can choose to raise things one inch or I can choose to raise them two or three. Not that everything is just always two inches of foam. Um, Put some card bases there. Okay. So while that's drying, we know exactly how this one up here is going to go, which is exactly how that was. We're going to stick it on and then we're going to put this underneath and get this just right. So I can peel this up and I can put that gauze there. But now I know that I'm sticking through a piece of gauze. So you need to add glue when you stick through gauze. Um, gauze doesn't um, exactly like being stuck to either. Well, it's, not, uh, it's, it's just that you're sticking through dimension. So while that's wet... Let's look at this. Let's cut a bit up here. So these are from the Easter Blessings um, Fussy Cut Flowers. These bouquets. And see, because I planned this out on my design board, I know that it's going to fit. glue there. Just put that one aside. And then this big one is tucked in here. Let's put it underneath the gauze. And then this little one was it's from up with it's down here. How's that? Love that. I like mixing things from different collections. We've got Devoted to Denim, Easter Blessings, um, Cherish Time, Easter Blessings. Okay. That bit. Is it all dry? It's all dry. 
let's shove this underneath and just shore up where we're going to put this design. So I'm just going to put it under there just so I can make sure that this is all going to fit. So if I put that sort of in there and then the blue ones and the yellow ones, we could probably come across just a touch. Maybe put that under there. Oh, 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 pulled on the gauze. What do we think? Let's put the gauze under here. Just make sure that we're happy with this. Says it's good when you mix up the collection. Okay. So let's put a little bit of chicken strip under here. And then put that there, sort of goes there, and then where this goes here, and that was tucked in underneath there first. That memory's there, sort of like that. Sort of like that. What do we think? like that? I think I do. So then what I can do is pull that to the side, put it over there to move that stuff out of the way. I can line up the bottom of my page, the bottom of my grid on my board. And then I sort of know that that's like an inch and a bit in. And this is whole, all one unit now. So we built all this while we were doing it. Let's look at that. We can just peel this off. So I'm not particularly concerned about the distances and that sort of thing. I'm happy to guesstimate it. But I know some of you like to have your distance. You know, when you've designed it, you want it to be very similar or the same. So best I teach you how to achieve that. So you can line up your ruler. This is an inch here. We know it's about an inch and a half in. And we know that goes over the top of the photo like that. And about there. Keep that nice and straight. This is our stitch divider for line. Stay. Stay, stay, stay. Let's get our gauze. So we used tape under here. So we can just bring this up a bit. Pop our gauze in there. Now we know we need to add just a tiny bit of glue because we're sticking through gauze. Don't rely on tape, no matter what the tape is, to stick through gauze or a fabric. Geez, I'm, I'm nearly at the end of this, aren't I? This glue.
now we had I messed it up didn't I I know that this one tucked around here like that so let's trim off on here This is how we um, finish a bottle of glue. I'm not going to trim anything off this one because I'm just I'm fighting with the gauze now. Oh, and I've put a gluey finger on there. So this flower's behind, but we're going to put a bit, I'm going to put a little bit of dimension to it. And that way um, it'll sort of push the other pieces up a bit. It's going to tuck in here. Still just on the page. I'd probably be finished this page if I hadn't been fighting with my glue. Let's tuck it under the way. Come on. Do a little snip mark here. And if I just do that. I kind of cut it in too far. Now I can come back with this. I can come back with this and stick it back on. What you doing, mate? Two photos on it so people can see the fancy fold. Yeah. Or else it looks very flat. Um, I'm sure it wouldn't, yeah. I'm sure yours would learn, end up really awesome, Rory. Rightio. Let's just pop this back on now so we can work this bit out. So that bit was there. And then memories. And then this bit's sort of there. That bit's under. There and there. And look, that's off the page. There. And then we've got all our little confettis. Just gonna shove them off over there. Ready. So this piece goes in first. 
gonna be an awesome experience when I get a new glue, isn't it? Waste not, want not. I'm going to use the shiny side of this. So the pale blue acrylic has a matte side and a shiny side, so you can choose. But I'm going to use the, I'm going to get glue everywhere. Let's move that mat out of the way. By the way, I've got glue on my mat, and um, that's okay. Let's straighten that up a bit. So I can get my ruler, if I so choose, and I can line up like my stitching guide and go, oh, yep. Yep, that's how I want that. Um, I do do a bit. Uh, I got used to doing things one handed, working one handed. Um, I continued to teach and run a business having, well, I opened my store with a um, small child and a toddler. And I have since, if you don't know me, my name's Lisa. Um, I have since had two children whilst owning my store and teaching. And, yes, I can scrap off one-handed while nursing a baby. I can, um, I can type emails. And there was no email this week either. If you worry that you missed the email, there was no email this week. I think I'm going to have to move the email to another day because my Mondays are getting just really, really hectic. I'm going to put a piece on here of my little glitter. This is our custom um, crumbs we made ourselves out of a scrap of our... So if you only had enough of the glitter card to match your um, journal block... You can use, because we cut the centre out of that, you can use the centre of your journal block to make your custom little um, crumbs, like I'm using right now, that you can then bring that somewhere else on the page. I don't want something to be in one place and not make sense. You want it to be in more than one spot, hence like we used the lemon on a couple of the flowers, that's on the title we use. So we've used the lemon and the glitters here and here and here. And then we've got this pink and then this pink um, and then a little bit of the purple in a couple of places. And then this blue up the top is sort of mimicked in the flowers and the denim pocket. So everything links. It does link. Well, we try to make it link. Let's put one up there. It links in with these. Okay, let's put a couple up here. And there. 
one's so big. Oh, dear me. Didn't want to flip over, did I? Oh, I can just see that dropping somewhere I don't want it. No, we're not done yet. It needs one down here, I think. And no, no, that is it. Yeah, Mondays are just so journaling with my glue smush. Stuff now. This is a bit tricky. Let's put a tiny bit of it. A little piece of quarter inch. Oh, I've got glue. I've got a dob of glue. Bit on that side, bit on that side. Just tuck that in there. Oh. there. That's a bit better. Oh, do I want a second layer? Let's do another bit. That's better. Do you know the worst thing about the foam tape is that it's sticky. So when you're trying to tuck a bit in somewhere, sticky. Radio. Right -yo. There we are. So that's that corner. That's all from my scrap box. I don't think there's going to be a kit for this one because I've got stuff from several sheets of fussy cut elements and I've got a pocket. And... Yeah. So this pocket's from Devoted to Denim Paper 2 and this bit of blue stripe is from Fishing Fun and then we've got all sorts of things. A bit of glue on there. There we go. Thank you, Diane and Margaret. Um, thank you, Pam. Um, thank you, Cheryl. And let me have a look over here. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you, Marie. Thank you, everybody. You're so wonderful. I hope you enjoyed watching. Um, I hope you understand what I'm on with with this. Like what it's, yeah. And you know, mine's going to get trashed. Just so you know. It's going to sit it down here and hide it down inside my desk. Um, I love my ruler. Is, you know, designed it just for me. So I'm going to admit that my creative ruler, the chippy strips, the chippy strips, and my creative design board are three very selfish things I have designed for myself. 
Um, if you so choose to have them in your craft space, I applaud you because I think they're awesome. But I basically designed them for myself. I'm being very selfish, I know. Um, but, yeah, they were things I wanted and, yeah, why not? Um, design some, yeah, some of the stencils are a bit Naomi Johnish, but, yeah, <laughs> more than some. She's got a bit of a list of what she wants for her own artworks. Yeah, yeah, she's got some ideas. I have them just as I was about to go to work. <laughs> Class, love you. Thank you, Joanne. Thank you, thank you. I think we're very useful tools to have in a craft room. Yeah, I think they're very useful. I, you can see that. It makes life easy. Um, if you craft in a small place, I think they would be great. Thank you, Raquel. Thank you. Um, always enjoy class. Ruler and design board are fabulous additions. Thank you, Cheryl. Um, I actually made it, and that's where a lot of the price comes from, I actually made it out of a lot thicker acrylic, which I had to work out how to get it to cut nice. But... Um, and you can craft in the lounge chair with this, <laughs> I think. I like the idea of if you've only got a small pay space, you can pick your page up and take it somewhere else um, to keep it out of little sticky fingers too. Um, I always need to see how they work. Yes, Debbie, and that's the thing is knowing how it works. And that's what my job is, is to show you what you want to know. Um, so thank you all very much for coming along. I hope you enjoyed the class. Um, I know we've, you know, we're nearly at two hours and I, um, don't like to occupy masses of your time. Um, I can see a tiny bit of blue just here. The blue's just slightly wider. Okay. Um, yeah, I try not to take up too much of your precious time. But um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and we will see you on Friday night at 7. Oh, okay. I haven't worked out because I didn't do an email. I haven't worked out what we're doing this Friday night. Do we have a plan? Well, be funny. Be funny. I think Dad had a plan, didn't he? I think Quentin's got an idea about what he wants me to do on Friday night. So if you've got any ideas, just message us. And Marie's happy to watch for hours. Cool. Um, awesome. Thank you, Michelle. So thank you also very much. Um, a challenge. I need a challenge, do I? Yeah. I hope Naomi John's got the sketch done for one, two, three challenge tomorrow. She's working on it right now. Friday night can be a surprise. Karen's happy to watch for hours too. Awesome. So thank you very much for coming along. Um, take care, stay safe, and we will see you all on Friday night at 7 p.m. If we don't see you beforehand, we might see you before that. You never, never know with um, the red shawls at Scrapbook Fantasies. So we'll see you then. Take care, stay safe, and we'll see you... Um, yeah, yeah, Michelle's happy to watch for hours as well. We'll see you on Friday night. See you later. Thank you. Bye.